Thank you. I'm here today to join my voice with you to say already after only these few months, we have had enough of the Abbott government. Yeah. We've had enough of the attacks on trade unions. We've had enough of the attacks on refugees. We've had enough of the attacks on the environment. We've had enough of the attacks on the public sector. We've had enough of the attacks on everyone. Yeah. And we are here to say, Tony Abbott, we will resist you every step of the way. Now, I have been asked today to talk about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is a free trade agreement. It's a free trade agreement on steroids. Now, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it, there's quite a few people here have heard about the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. But equally, I'm guessing if you did an opinion poll of the entire Australian population, the vast majority of people would not have heard about it. Why haven't they heard about it? because it's being negotiated in secret. The people here today who have heard about it, they didn't hear about it from reading in the media what the, what the Australian government's been saying. They didn't go along to a briefing session by the Australian government to say what the Australia's negotiating position is. They didn't go to the Trans-Pacific Partnership website to see the latest draft of the text that's being negotiated. Anybody here who knows about the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement knows about it because what's been leaked through WikiLeaks and other sources. And you've got to ask yourself, if the governments of the world, and you've got to, you've got to recognise this agreement if it is passed, this agreement will become the biggest free trade agreement in the world. If this agreement is passed, what have they got to hide? Why are they negotiating it in secret? I'll tell you why. It was admitted by Ron Kirk, who's a former US trade negotiator. And he said explicitly, if the public could see the text of this negotiation, the text of this agreement, the draft agreement, if the public could see there would be such a big opposition to it that it could not be passed. That's what Tony Abbott is doing in our name, without our agreement. Now, this free trade agreement, as the other free trade, uh, trade agreements, is an attack on all the things that are valuable and good in our society. If you like the fact that we've got environmental laws that stop the worst pollution, the worst environmental excesses from taking place, then you're against the TPP. If you like the fact that employers can't just do whatever they want with, uh, with workers, if you like the fact that there are, there are you know, industrial le legislation that limits the, rap the, the rap rapacious greed of, of these big corporations, then you're against the TPP. If you like the fact that there are local content uh, provisions on our televisions, then you're against the TPP. If you like the fact that Australia has got a pharmaceutical benefit scheme, which makes medicines largely affordable for most people, then you're against the TPP. Now, I want, to, I want to leave today with a positive message because there is an alternative to the TPP. There is an alternative. The, the alternative is called democracy. And it, 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 will, it will be a good day when we get it. I'm looking forward to that day when we get democracy. You see, every time the government passes any law which puts restrictions on the corporations from just doing whatever they want, that's a little down payment on the democracy. That's a little bit where society steps in and says, no, we're not going to allow you to do these things. Every time there's a law that says BHP and Rio Tinto are not allowed to go and sell crack cocaine because they might be able to make a profit out of it, that's a little extension of democracy. That's, a, that's an example of society saying, no, your profits aren't the be all and end all. We are putting limits on what you can do. Every time there's an environmental regulation, every time there's a labour rights regulation, every time there's quarantine controls, every time there's pollution controls, every time there is government regulation that, that stops corporations from doing, being able to do whatever they want, because let's face it, in the third world where there are less of those regulations, those corporations do do whatever they want. They do wreck people's lives. They do destroy environments. If you like those government regulations, that's an example of democracy. And And I say to you, 
I say to you that the alternative to the TPP is an extension of democracy. So I'm here to say, when we say we are going to resist Tony Abbott every step of the way, we're going to put forward a positive alternative, which is people power, democracy in the streets. This is where democracy is happening, not in Parliament. And if you want to get involved in this campaign, I'd invite you to look out for one of these leaflets. There's a stall over here for the TPP. There's a, there's a group being formed in, in WA called the Perth TPP Citizen Alliance. And there's going to be a meeting on the um, on uh, 29th of March outside the State Library. So look for one of these leaflets, get more information about how you can be involved in the campaign against the TPP. It's not just the TPP, it's the whole agenda of the Abbott government. And the TPP is just one example of that agenda. It's one example of the Abbott government's refusal to look after the interests of people, but to look after the interests of, of corporate profits. And we say, no, enough is enough. We will resist you all the way.